but I was born in Paddington. Um, I, they used to say Paddington born, Paddington bred. Strong in the arm and weak in the head. <laughs> Officially a senior for a few years. Yeah. I've got a two dollar, I've got a two dollar fifty bus pass really? all day, and I use it. Good. Yes. Good but, this, but this is seniors' week, right? Yeah. And so we've got to celebrate life. Three. Yeah. But I've worked it out. We've got it all wrong. Whoever organised it did it wrong. Well, what should happen is we should be born dead for a start. Uh, and before that, we find ourselves in an old people's home and we're there for a couple of years and all of a sudden they kick us out for being so healthy. <laughs> then we have to get a job. And on the first day of your job, they throw a party for you and they give you a gold watch. And then you work for about 40 years and then you start to think about going to um, reverse high school. So you do that for a few years, then you're a little one, then all of a sudden you're in this beautiful retirement, no, not retirement, what do they call it? A 
Bar, a day spa for nine months. Where you got everything in the kitchen with a fly swatter. And she said, what are you doing, Bert? He said, I'm killing flies. And she said, you got any? He said, yes. He said, I've got three males and two females. <laughs> and she said, how do you know? Uh, he said, oh, he said, well, there were three on the beer can and two on the phone. <laughs> and a couple of little ditties from Australia's history because we forget about our political, our political path so easily. But Billy Hughes, he got elected as a representative of the Socialists and of the Labor Unions. And the moment he got in, he ditched them. So he was a what? scab. He was oh, a he scab. was a scab. He was a scab. And he wasn't very popular. Then he did something which was very un-Australian. He was trying to get people to get in the, in the army and be conscripted. So he set out to um, go to England on a boat to actually have a cigar with King George, which he did. Mm. And very soon after, somebody wrote this little uh, ditty that you would never have heard. I found it in a, a very obscure sort of journal many years ago. Billy Hughes is trying to introduce that damn conscription for boys and for men. And of course, for him we're no use. He's a rat, a dirty low skunk. It's a pity that ship never sunk. When he sailed the sea to the old country to kneel at the feet of King George with a duchess to welcome him in to smoke a cigar with the king. He'd betray his own class, but it come to pass that the hobnobs have fallen with him. To the Duchess, we'll let him go back. His party has given him back. With one union brand, we will soon own the land and throw the bosses right off our back. Oh, we went out to fight for our country. We went out to bleed and to die. We went out to fight for our country. And this was our country's reply. So, 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 they gave us a big play the loop and the loop. Yeah, he must have been playing on Zoom.